video, let us look at leomyoma. Basically, it is a benign condition, benign tumor of the smooth muscle. Okay. So, basically, these are called as fibromyomas. They are called as what? Fibromyomas or they can just be called as fibroids. So, if it is in the uterus, they will call it as uterine fibroids. So, it is a benign condition and uh, basically, you should understand that it is very common. It is benign condition only. But if it becomes malignant, it will be called as leomyosarcoma. Okay. Now, where and all do you find smooth muscle in our body? There and all leomyoma can be there. So, it can be in the uterus, which is very common. It can be in the cervix, in the broad ligament, in the urinary bladder, in the small intestine, in the large intestine, even in the skin, the blood vessels, the lungs, even in the stomach. So, there you have some words called leomyosarcoma, leomyoblastoma or epithelioid leomyoma. So, these are the places where you will see all the leomyomas. So, basically, first let us take an introduction into the smooth muscle. So, smooth muscle, you have seen there are no striations. What you basically know about smooth muscles is that uh, there is calcium, calmodium complex, etc. Right? So, basically, smooth muscles follow plasticity, remember. And coming to the uterus, what do you know about the uterus? Basically, it is a child-bearing organ. So, what are the, what is the blood supply of the uterus? You have the uterine artery, right? As simple as that, you have the uterine artery. Two uterine arteries are there. They are coming from where? From the internal iliac artery. A I I A. You can see here internal iliac artery, which are coming from some other artery. At least remember this much: internal iliac artery, uterine arteries. Then it's possible even from the ovarian arteries. Ovarian arteries may supply the uterus. Ovarian artery comes from the abdominal aorta. Blood supply here shown. Remember for the uteri uterus, the supports are like the round ligament, it's the primary support. Broad ligament is only the secondary support. So here you should know the parts. You, here you have the cervix. The cervix has an internal os and an external os. You have the cervical canal here. Then you have the vagina. Here you have the fornix. Right? Look at the lymphatic drainage of the uterus. So basically here you have the External iliac lymph nodes, sacral lymph nodes, internal iliac lymph nodes shown here. Then here you have the aortic, pre and para aortic lymph nodes. Okay. Then here you have the superficial inguinal lymph nodes also shown. Normal position of uh, uterus you can look at here. So basically they are showing you the uterus here. Some angles and all is there. Antiversion, antiflexion. Antiversion is basically the forward tilting, and antiflexion is this thing inside 125 degree. Antiversion is 90 degree, antiflexion is 125 degree. Look at the endometrium in the proliferative state. So basically, you should know that the layers here are going to be the endometrium and the myometrium. So, in the endometrium, what are they showing you? You try and glance, spiral arteries and this is the myometrium which there is a lot of smooth muscle, right? So, because there is smooth muscle content, that's why you now you are going to study leomyoma. This is how the same thing looks, actual proliferative state. And look at the secretory phase now. You can see some torturous kind of uh, glands and arteries. This levator ani is a very, very important support for uh, uterus. So, remember round ligament, levator ani, etc. They are all very important supports. So, it is the mesonephric duct from which the uterus comes. Okay. So, here the mesonephric ducts are the precursors of the uterus, fallopian tubes, etc. Just remember, sorry, paramesonephric duct. Paramesonephric duct. From these, you will get the uterus, fallopian tube, cervix, uh, cervix, vagina, upper part of vagina, etc. So, the whole point here is to look at a leomyoma and explain the gro gross and microscopy. We will try to explain. So, this is a leomyoma. This is leomyoma with degeneration. We will come to this also. Okay. So, here what you can see you can see the cervix, 
and this is the lumen. I think it's better to call it the uterine cavity. And uh, what you're seeing here is an intramural leomyoma. Okay. So basically, you will say that this is a hysterectomy specimen. The uterus has been removed. Hysterectomy specimen. So it's a bulky uterus with cervix. Right. Measuring whatever measurement you are able to see, you can see that. Cut surface shows an intramural fibroid measuring whatever measurement you want to say, you can say. This uh, intramural fibroid is distorting the endometrial cavity. It is dis destroying this cavity, distorting, distorting this cavity. First of all, you understand here what and all types are there. So, uterus, the endometrium and myometrium are there, right? So, if it is there in the myometrium, it will be called as the intramural or interstitial if it is there in the myometrium. If it is in the endometrium, underneath the endometrium, it is called submucosal, okay? It, if it is just underneath the endometrium, it is submucosal. If it is in the myometrium, it will be intramural or interstitial. And if it is in the serosa, it will be subserosal. So, you have the submucosal, subserosal, intramural. Look at this diagram here. So, just below the endometrium, they are calling it as submucosal. In the myometrium, they are calling it as intramural. And serosa, if it is there, subserosal. Okay. So, submucosal, sub intramural and subserosal. So, there is a lot of information about leomyoma. Okay. So, let us look at that. So, basically, they are also called as fibromyomas. It is very common uterine tumor of the smooth muscle origin. Okay. Why these happen, if they ask, they will say something like high dose of um, estrogen therapy. Obviously, because estrogen will help in proliferation of endometrium, right? Then, high dose of estrogen therapy, their regression following menopause, castration, increase in their size in pregnancy. So, all these have been written here. Uh, and some other factors they are saying is human growth hormone itself. So basically what else you should know here. Most commonly the leomyomas are in the myometrium. So there will be, they will be intramural, interstitial they are called as. Okay. But whatever the other things are like uh, this one they are saying it will not be having pedicle. The intramural one they are saying it will not be having pedicle. But the others can have pedicle and they can protrude as a pedunculated myoma. But this intramural they are saying will be not having any pedicle. No pedicle in intramural. But in the others they are saying there can be pedicle and they can protrude as pedunculated myomas. So basically leomyoma can involve even the cervix and the broad ligament that we have already mentioned here. If you remember. So, they can involve the cervix and the broad ligament, remember? So, grossly, how will you explain? They are multiple circumscribed firm nodular gray white mass of variable size. Because it is benign, you can easily say it is circumscribed nodular, right? Gray white, multiple, they are saying that they can be multiple. And in cut section, you will see world pattern. Hold world pattern, W-H-O-R-L. Even in the microscopy, we will come to that. Anyways, wait. World pattern, you will see. Okay. Let's look at the microscopy, wait. So, in the microscopy, you are seeing world pattern, hyaline change, world pattern, and benign smooth muscle cell. So, a lot of smooth muscle cells, which are benign here. So, histologically, you will see that <clears throat> they are composed of two tissue elements, world bundle of smooth muscle cells admixed with variable amount of connective tissue. So here they are saying you will see world arrangement, bundles of smooth muscle cells admixed with connective tissue. The smooth muscle cells, how are they? They are uniform. <clears throat> they are uniform in size and shape. They have abundant cytoplasm. They have a central oval nuclei. So they have a central Oval nuclei, abundant cytoplasm. Cellular leomyoma has preponderance over smooth muscle elements. Okay. 
Here, there is absence of mitosis. That's why you can say it is not a leomyosarcoma. But if it is sarcoma, you will see mitotic figures. Okay. They can then ask you what are the pathological appearances, uh, different patho appearances that can be there. So you can have hyaline degeneration, cystic degeneration, infarction, calcification, infection, suppuration, necrosis, fatty change, sarcomatous change. There can be <clears throat> hyaline degeneration, cystic degeneration, infarction, calcification, infection, suppuration, necrosis, fatty change, rarely sarcomatous change. Everything on earth they have written. <clears throat> what have they left here till? Hyaline change, cystic change, infection, what is this? I Infarction. <clears throat> calcification, infection, suppuration, necrosis, fatty change, sarcomatous change, everything on earth they have written here. So what else can they ask you here? They can ask you what the clinical conditions will be, like abnormal uterine bleeding can be there, pain, right? So what and all you will say here? Clinical symptoms, abnormal uterine bleeding, then pain, Okay, and some symptoms due to the compression of surrounding structures, infertility can be there. Right? Just remember in leomyosarcoma, which is a malignant condition, here you will have to see the number of mitosis per high power field and based on this you can diagnose the leomyosarcoma. More than 10 mitosis per 10 high power fields with or without cellular atypia, so many types of classifications are there. If more mitotic figures are there, it is worse prognosis, okay. So you are aware that leomyosarcoma need not be only in uterus, it can be in urinary bladder, right, small intestine, colon, skin, blood vessel, lung, stomach, everywhere it can be there. Wherever there is smooth muscle, there can be leomyoma. So here you can say there is no mitotic figures in leomyoma, no mitotic figures, no pleomorphism, all those things you will usually see in sarcoma, <clears throat> okay. So this is the intramural leomyoma, then here you have the leomyoma with degeneration.